Hi everyone, this is Mr. West. Today we're doing a worksheet called Find the Volume 2 Metric. This is a worksheet that can be found on MassSalamanders.com. There will be a link in the description below. There's tons of worksheets like this on that website. Be sure to check it out. But anyway, we're asking to find the volume of rectangular prism. So, what is a rectangular prism and what is volume? These are the things that we need to understand. In order to understand volume, we have to understand the difference between 2D and 3D shapes. Okay, so a 2D shape is one like a rectangle. It only has two dimensions, up and down and left and right. Those are the two directions, dimensions it can go, two planes of movement. Now, when we're talking about 3D shapes, so here's 3D, this was 2D. 3D, we have depth. So one thing we like to do is we like to kind of designate that by saying it like it goes into the paper and that this is a line that we cannot see, a plane that we cannot see. So not only do we go up and down, left and right, but we also go in and out, which is our third dimension. Now, a 3D shape, instead of taking up area like a 2D shape does, it takes up volume, okay? So if you think about a room and all the air in the room, that would be the amount of volume that particular room has or the amount that this box has. Now, this isn't just a box. This is a type of prism. What is a prism? A prism is a shape that has two bases, okay? So I'm gonna kind of highlight this one. Connected by rectangles. So if you see here, I'm gonna change colors briefly just to give an idea, and then I'm gonna get to the work just to save you some time. If you wanna skip ahead to when I get to the work, that's fine, okay? But here's, we have the shapes, and it's connected by rectangles. So the two bases that I have labeled there, and in between that distance, we have a bunch of rectangles that connect those two bases. There's also another type of prism. It's a can, or a cylinder. Those are two bases of circles connected by one long rectangle. You can have triangular prisms, that's a triangle, two triangles connected by rectangles, okay? Also known as a tent, if you want to think of it that way. But regardless, how do we find the volume of a rectangular prism? Well, rectangular prisms are actually the easiest 3D shape to find the volume of. You simply extend the area formula just a little bit. So the area formula is length times width. So the area is length times width, but for volume of a 3D shape, that's a rectangular prism, we do length times width times height or depth, however you wanna do it. I like writing an H more than the D though, so I just do L times W times H. What are those dimensions? Well, it's just two, two, and two for this one. That makes this one a cube. It's a special rectangular uh, prism where all the dimensions are the same and all the uh, sides are the same length. So here's our two, here's our two, and there's our other two, okay? This one is, and this one are the same. So these two heights are the same. So we consider our length, this one, our width, this one, and our height, that one, okay? Um, it, it doesn't matter which one you call which, but I like to think of the length and width as the base and the height is the distance that connects the two. That will save you a lot of time in geometry. So if we put that all together, our formula is going to be 2 times 2 times 2. Well, 2 times 2 I know is 4, but we still have to multiply that 2, which is 8 centimeters. Now, what are the units for volume? The units, very important here, are cubic units. Okay, Cubic yards is very popular designation if you're talking about mulch or sand, you're doing construction. Cubic yards is kind of like the measurement there. Now, cubic centimeters, because we're using the metric in this worksheet, is the unit for volume here, okay? We're talking about cubic units, three dimensions. That's why there's that three in the corner. And it's as simple as that, folks. So if I'm gonna do another example here, my volume's gonna be the three dimensions multiplied by each other. Six times two, length times width, times that height of two. And again, these heights need to be the same for it to be a prism. So I'm gonna do six times two times two. 6 times 2 is 12, times 2 is 24, and again, that's centimeters cubed, okay? All of these are going to be very similar, okay? For this one, the bases are actually pretty far away from each other. We could call that a base, and then this one right here would be a base. And then our height would be a long distance of 8 in between, just to give you an idea of what a prism is. But again, the formula is exactly the same. We have 2 times 1 times our height, which is 8. 2 times 1 is 2, times 8 is 16 centimeters, don't forget, cubic units, 
and that's our final answer. We'll do a couple more. Maybe we'll do this one. We do 10 times 2 times 2. That will give us 40 centimeters cubed, cubic centimeters. And then here's the one. 5 times 4 is 20 times 3 is 60 centimeters cubed. And I don't want to give all the answers away. That'd be too easy. So if you can do this on your own, that'd be great. But if you have any questions, leave a comment in the comment section below. And be sure to check out more videos like this right here on West Explains Best. Looking forward to seeing you.